quick warning before this video begins. This is a lot more of a heavy video than I normally do. This is regarding um, the exposing of Avery, who has been exposed for essentially being a groomer and many other inappropriate things along those lines, and being a general manipulator. So if you're not comfortable with that discussion, then please click off the video now as it's going to go downhill from here. Anyways, if you're not caught up in the loop, advisor dropped a video exposing Avery, essentially using a lot of different evidence in the form of screenshots, videos, Snapchat DMs to essentially prove that um, Avery himself has been messaging a underage girl who was 16 when he was 21 and being inappropriate, sending her inappropriate pictures and essentially grooming her. Now I think a lot of Avery fans are going to attempt to debunk Advisor's video by saying that the evidence is not real and it's fabricated evidence or was created in order to ruin um, Avery's career and boost Advisor's, right? Unfortunately for Avery fans though, Advisor's video proves pretty much without a shadow of a doubt that Avery is a predator or groomer, however you want to call it. Because not only does this video include an incredible amount of evidence through Snapchat and Discord and videos, but other YouTubers have also come out and supported Advisor's video against Avery, essentially saying that everything that said in this video was true. Um, here you can see uh, Tryhard's Twit Longer, where he talks about how everything in the video was true and his experience with Avery. Additionally, the victim in this situation, um, the girl that Avery was messaging, came out with her own Twit Longer, where she gives the full detail of her interaction with him, and I think it's a, it's a very important read if you're interested at all in what's going on with Avery. I think I definitely recommend it. It'll be in the link in the description and also advisor's video of course. It is a very shocking watch but I think it's definitely worth it if you are at all invested in Avery and his situation. So many people are tired of things like this continuously happening within the MC community. This is pretty much another tenebrous situation, except this time I hope that Avery never comes back. And it looks like he won't be able to because he deleted all his social media, including his YouTube. If you try to find a link to his YouTube channel, it says his channel has been removed. So I think he's either deleted his channel or put it into some weird limbo state like Strobe did when he got into big drama. Regardless, things like this cannot keep happening within our community. We need to show that things that Avery did were incredibly wrong and he should never have been able to use his platform to manipulate minors or hurt people in any shape or form. Apparently, YouTubers in the past have tried exposing Avery for his actions but have been unsuccessful because of his large platform and his use of manipulation. It's sad to think of a time where his actions were unchecked and he was able to profit off the Minecraft community and use his platform to make money and support himself. I'm not a big fan of deplatforming and general cancel culture but I think this time it is more than justified to take away Avery's platform as he's been abusing it to interact with his vulnerable and easily manipulated fans. Not only has Avery been exposed for being a predator or groomer, he's also been exposed for being a manipulator behind the scenes. When people attempt to criticize him, he shuts them down using his platform and manipulation in general. Avery is a key example of how you can abuse your platform as a YouTuber to do horrible things. And I think YouTubers need to be more freely and openly criticized without receiving backlash or hate or death threats from their fan bases. Avery has a much bigger fan base than Advisor, so I commend uh, Advisor for coming out with this information, and I commend anyone else who has an experience who came out and was brave enough to post this information. Uh, you're doing the important job here by warning people and making sure that Avery cannot do this in the future. Overall, Avery's influence on the Minecraft PvP scene is undeniable, and I'm very glad that people are able to stand up to his massive platform and call him out for the disgusting and horrible things that he's been doing. That's going to be about it for this video. I just kind of wanted to get my thoughts out there. My more funny video I had planned for today will be pushed for a couple more days, so um, look forward to that and drop a sub if you enjoyed. Peace.